welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing some shoulder stretches with you guys. So it's a follow along video, so get out your yoga mats and let's stretch. Alright guys, so first we're going to start with a head roll. And the other side. Really loosen up every part of your neck and feel the stretch. Alright, now place your hand on the top of your head and pull your head over and really try to get your ear to touch your shoulder. Other side. Alright, now take your hand behind your back and pull it over. Clasp your hands and tilt your head over to the side. You should feel a really good stretch in your neck. Now we're gonna do the other side. Clasp your hands and lean your head over to the other side and you should really be feeling a stretch in your neck. All right. Roll those shoulders back four times back and four times forward. Take your arm behind your head and pull on it with your other hand. Really try to pull it down further and further. Now we're going to do the other side. And down. All right, now we're gonna need our foam roller. If you don't have a foam roller, you can use a ball or a sock with three ten different tennis balls inside of it. Um, that should do the trick. But if you do have a foam roller, then definitely use it. We're going to be using it to warm up and loosen the top of our back because that is connected to our shoulders. Um, we just did our neck and that's connected to our shoulders as well. So it's really important to loosen up your spine. All right, so you can place your foam roller aside. You won't be needing it anymore. Lay on your belly and bring your arms out to the side. We're gonna twist over and try to keep your shoulder on the floor and then reach your hand as far as you can. If you can touch your hand with the other hand, that's great, but try to keep the hand that is on the floor palm down. Other side, reach over, remember to keep your palm down. You should feel a really good stretch in your shoulder. Now to intensify the stretch, we're gonna do the same thing again, but you're gonna bend 90 degrees and you are going to turn your hips again but you probably won't be able to go as far this time, but the, te the stretch is like really, really intense. At least for me it is. Um, and this is a really good stretch to do. It almost burns, guys. So remember, turn 90 degrees up. So you would make sure that you're doing really straight angles with your arms. All right, so we're gonna scoot and slide our hands as far as you can. If you can go further than me, then that is great because this is like my least favorite stretch but if you can't then just do as far as it feels intense for you you can let your knees fall to one side and then the other side and also you can do your legs straight now we're going to be using the foam yoga blocks 
If you don't have yoga blocks, you can use anything about the same height to get the same results. So I'm gonna just place my elbows on the yoga blocks and then drop my head down the middle. I think you can see my underwear here, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh well, at least it's black. So make sure that your arms are pressing together and you can go down to touch your shoulder blades and then back up. And you can stay here from up to a minute to longer depending on what you wanna do. All right, so you can take the yoga blocks away. We won't be using them anymore. All right, now we're going to do a cat stretch. So you're gonna get your chest to try to touch the floor and you're gonna be pushing your armpits down and really stretching the top of your back and your shoulders. This stretch is really intense and if you want to intensify it more you can actually do it with your arms up on the yoga blocks but this is pretty intense for me so I'm just gonna stay here on the floor and you can hold this stretch to up to a minute as well going to downward dog we're just gonna be pressing almost the same kind of stretch where you're pressing your armpits forward and just let your head drop and really try to get your heels to touch the ground and suck your belly in. All right, now we're gonna start our standing portion of the shoulder stretches. Arm circles four backwards. And arm circles four forward. We're gonna do arm swings in a circle and reverse. Other arm and reverse. Grab your hands together and drop and try to get your hands to go as far as you can. This is a really good stretch, guys. You can twist a little bit, shake it out. Very good. Reach over, kind of that same stretch we did in the beginning. And now grab the other hand and try to link your hands together like this. Now if you can't reach, you can always grab a belt or some kind of um, piece of fabric and try to get closer and closer. So that's a good little tip. Um, if you are able to, try to go flat back over as far as you can. And this is like <laughs> pretty painful guys, I don't know why, it's, but yeah. And then I'm just gonna do some swings, rock and forth. Very nice. All right, so we're gonna do that same thing to the other side. Bring the arm up, grab the elbow, pull it over. We always have a stronger side too, so if you can do it on one side but not the other, then just use the belt or whatever you're using on one side. Try to get your arms to go as together as you can. And then we're gonna take that Straight over again. And you can do swings here as well. Very good. So now we're going to take it over to the wall and 
this stretch is actually it doesn't look painful but seriously is so painful put your hand on the wall and then twist away from it it stretches all the way through your shoulder down your arm it is really good so you can hold this for longer than I'm doing and this side I'm actually way worse you can see like this is as far as I can go and the other side I was way so I'm like really uneven so anyways okay so the last thing this is probably the hardest part and but it's the, one of the best things you can do for your shoulders so I'm just using an elastic TheraBend you can use a regular TheraBend or a belt but I like the stretchy ones better you're gonna place it behind your back and you're gonna try to go all the way around and back and you can start like really far apart and then you can work your way closer and closer So I'm doing five like this, and then we're gonna try to get even closer here. So I'm gonna just grab one more loop in, and I'm gonna do another five. This one hurt a lot more. I could feel it. You can see I'm struggling a little bit with this one. I'm like, <laughs> so I keep going on my tiptoes as if that's gonna help <laughs> get myself over. go tighter and tighter and eventually here um, only a couple people I know can do this one so don't worry about it thanks for watching everyone if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up don't forget to check out my other videos and please subscribe and I will see you guys later